Look at the so-called underground cities of Turkey. That there are huge cities. They look like ant farms on an enormous scale that are dug out under the earth. Hundreds and hundreds of rooms. That huge efforts was put into digging deep beneath the earth and creating these shelters. And archaeology does not have a good explanation about what they're there for, or why they were built, or when they were built. They're all cut out of stone. You can only date objects that were left in them. You can't say when they were actually made. What makes sense of those underground cities to me is that they were built as places of rest. Refuge that people could go into during an episode of meteor bombardment during the Younger Dryas, because there wasn't just the one 12,800 years ago. There were multiple episodes over the next 1,200 years. It makes sense that these underground cities were built as places of shelter, not as places to hide from an invading army. The last place you want to go if you have an invading army is to go hide underground. All they have to do is block up the entrances. They don't even have to fight you, you know. But if you're dealing with a with a periodic event which will be over in a couple of weeks, they're great places to to retreat into.